Hi everyone, welcome back. Today I'm here with our September 24th new releases. I'm actually filming this on the 25th. Um, a little bit late, I'm sorry. Um, just could not get this filmed yesterday, but it's okay because we're here today. And I'm going to show you everything that we have. Um, if you are watching this today, the 25th, um, today is the last day to sign up for our September mystery subscription. If you have not signed up already, the sign up close at 11.59 p.m. Eastern Standard Time Sharp. So definitely check that out if you haven't already. But let's just go ahead and hop into the new releases. We have two new weekly and decorative kits, and then we have some foils. So kind of just kind of, I'm going to jump into the foil first, but we're kind of getting into that like transition from fall into winter kind of season in the planner community, even though fall is just now starting in real life. Um, so um, I don't really know how to transition sometimes, but I feel like warm drinks could transition. So this week's foil is like a coffee and tea theme. So um, yeah. So first off, we have our tea journal scraps. We have our coffee journal scraps. This could totally also be hot chocolate if you want. We have some cafe scenes. Oops. Cafe scene elements, so like chairs, lights, um, tables, stuff like that. Some coffee steams, like heart shaped. You could totally use this, like coming out of a chimney and stuff too. It doesn't have to be like a drink, it could also be like food as well. Latte art, of course. Love her. So pretty. And then we have some coffee shop signs. These don't necessarily have to be for a coffee shop. They could be for any type of shop, but just some fun signs. And then we have some cafe treats. So we have some tea bags, some cups, some coffee beans, pastries, and then like other like coffee cup type of things. So that is this week's foil. I hope that you like it. We already have coffee rings in the shop if you're looking for some coffee rings. And some other stuff has some coffee rings in it as well. So if that's what you're looking, if you want to add that as well, there's that. But these sheets are an additional 10% off this week only. Same with the new releases as usual. So for the two kits this week, our first one is plaid and our other one is blue. I'm going to start with plaid because this one is like fall fall I feel like so and the other one is also a fall kit but it's blue so I feel like it's like a good transition kit I don't know anyway so this kit is called plaid this is the weekly kit and we are finally like officially in our new format um all of our old format stuff has been released as of next last week so um yeah this is very patterned kit given by the name plaid so up here you have this little door scene um, this really cute sweater with some boots, florals, of course, these two girls here are super pretty. The quote says, lead with kindness, live with gratitude. Really pretty window, like, library scene, and then here we have, like, a, like, seated, like, comfy pillow scene with a foiled, I think that's a cat, cat there. And then here we have this really cute, um, like, birdhouse. Here are the colors for the kit. I don't think I mentioned, but it's in rose gold foil. So we have a red, a kind of like, mm, I don't know the exact name for that word. It's like a different type of red. Um, it's like in between like a red orange. We have an orange and then a cream color. Here is the layering page in case you're not familiar with the new format. If you haven't seen it from like our birthday sale or the subscription. Um, so yeah, we added some sketched boxes in here. That goes on this page now with some Polaroids and other boxes. Lots of plaid torn papers here. That plaid um, Polaroid is so cute. Sorry if I'm talking a little fast. I'm really paranoid that my camera is going to die. So um, if that's the case, I'll just edit the two clips together, but it's fine. Um, so we have a plaid washi here with a really cute like plaid pattern foiled on top and then foiled um, florals of course. You have your date covers and your two sets of headers, your simple line, and then that same plaid that matches the washi here in the header. 
here we have the foil add-on. So we have like this knit pattern here and washi and divider. We have some music and old writing here, which matches the, oh, there we go, my camera's dying. But it matches the full boxes. And then we have some torn plaid shapes here. So I'm gonna cut this here and then try and come back, hopefully. All right, let's try this again. So just got done talking about that add-on. Let's talk about the other add-ons. I'm just going to go into my um, Anyway, deco add-on here for the plaid kit. The journal add-on. And also, just as a reminder, these add-ons are available in white and washi. But I'm showing white here because it is the easiest to see. Here is the um, floral deco add-on. and the alcohol swatch add-on. And then now, I mean, I'm sure you guys have seen by now, hopefully, but we are doing, um, what's the word I'm looking for? We're doing decorative kits that match the weeklies now for all of our kits, at least we've been trying to. Um, I'm going to show the decorative kits on white. Ironically, this first page that I have, I only have it on washi um, because the white, we haven't cut it down yet. So um, here it is on washi. Um, so we do have our decor decorative kits in washi and white. Um, but I'm going, I've been showing them in washi just to show you that we have a, that we do offer it in washi. But I'm going to be showing it in white, I think, going forward because it is the easiest to see on camera. Um, so yeah, here are the bouquets course with that rose gold foiling, the elements, the edges, so we have some corners here and then some edges, um, and these you can pick up the sheets a la carte or you can purchase them all together. Um, when you purchase them all together you save more, um, but these can be used uh, together in like their own type of kit or you can um, buy them in addition to the weekly kit just to like for extra deco or extra pieces that match if you like. Um, but yeah, here is the layered page. I think I actually call it compositions on the website um, because that's what I wanted to call it at first, but um, I ended up calling it layered on the sheet, but whatever, same thing. The number at the top um, helps us distinguish, so it's fine. Um, but yeah, lots of layered pieces here. Here are the paper strips. The days and dates, the borders. I really thought I'd charge my camera enough, but we'll see because it just went from three bars to two. So <laughs> after I'm done filming this video, I'm going to put it on the charger and not take it off until I film my next video. Anyway, here are the scenes, the box swatches. So this gives you a little taste of the full boxes without getting the weekly kit if you aren't a weekly kit type of person. And then the swashes. So that is the plaid kit. And then our other kit this week, um, I wouldn't, I don't know if this is necessarily like a transition kit, though I'm not really sure what would deem something a transition kit. But to me, this kind of feels like one because it's like fall, but it's a blue. And I associate blue with winter. So I don't know. Anyway. This kit's called Blue. Um, the quote says, Autumn State of Mind, and you just have lots of fun little things. Here it is in silver foil. I mean, it only comes in silver foil, but still. Girl reading here, some books and a lantern, florals, of course, wreath, some letters, this little desk in front of the window here, some pumpkins, all that good stuff. Here are the boxes. So we have two different shades of blue, a neutralish color, and then a light peachy color. Here is the layered page or layering page. So we have, you know, your boxes up here, some Polaroids, your swashes, your deco. The bottom washi has like these blowing leaves and we have the headers with the blowing leaves as well. Of course you have your date covers. Here is the foil add-on. Some date numbers, pumpkins, leaves, stamps, candles, tags, and then that blowing leaf stuff again. 
you have your floral deco add-on, the regular deco add-on, the journal add-on, and the alcohol ink swatch add-on. So that is the weekly kit for the decorative kit. I actually have everything in white here, so that's great. So first up, we have the flowers, the bouquets, again, boiled in silver to match the kit, the elements, the edges, The layered sheet, pumpkins, wreath, lantern, candle, some scenes. The paper strips. The days and dates. The borders. The scenes. Box swatches and the swatches. So that is everything for this week. We have the blue weekly kit and decorative kit. We have the plaid weekly kit and decorative kit. And then we have our tea and coffee themed foil. So super fun release this week. Um, as usual, all of these are an additional 10% off, so this week is the best week to pick them up. Um, and then, like I said at the beginning of the video, today is the last day to subscribe to the September Mystery if you are eyeing it. Um, today, the 25th. If you're watching it after the 25th, I'm sorry, but sign up stuff closed. Um, yeah, and then also last week we launched our Advent. Uh, pre-sale so if you have not checked that out I would also check that out as well thank you so much if you have already ordered it or shared it and you know all that good stuff everything is appreciated um I think that is everything that I have to share with you this week I feel like I'm forgetting something but I think it's just a normal week this week and I'm just a day late on filming but it's all right. Um, so yeah, let me know which of these kits this week is your favorite. Um, and also I'm curious, let me know below what you consider a transitional kit. I mean, we've already started designing our like winter and holiday kits here. So I don't know that we would have a actual transitional kit. Maybe, I don't know. We'll see. Depends on if you guys agree with me on whether or not blue is a transitional kit, but in my head it is. Um, so yeah. Um, yeah. I feel so out of practice filming now, so I'm just going to go ahead and be quiet. I hope that you guys have a great week ahead. Um, if you are in the path of the hurricane, um, I hope that you stay safe. Um, it looks like we're going to be getting a lot of rain here. Hopefully not too much power outage and flooding and damage and stuff like that over here we are keeping track of like the path and it is kind of like moving away from us every time they make a new prediction or update the prediction so um glad for that for us but i hope that everyone else is staying safe if you are in the path um yeah but other than that, I hope everyone is having a great week and will continue to have a great week for the rest of the week. How many times can I say week in one sentence? Um, yeah. All right. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.